Hello, I'm Colin Bradley. In this series of clips, I'm going to show you how to build up a colour from a reference picture, starting with the base colours. Now, I'm using the great dark grey pastel mat here, which is one of my favourites, but it will work on all, all colours of paper. Now, what I've got to do is start off working out what base colour I need. Now, here, I would need, because I've got a, a lighter area, I'd start with some white. Now, I'm not going to draw the whole picture, folks. It's just showing you how the base colours are built up. Now, when you get to an area like that, which is sort of halfway between the two, you lighten your stroke. So here, it will be stronger. And here, it will be a little weaker. Now, when you get to this area, we've got a darker area. I'm going to use the grey. Now, this is... 230 in the favour, but again, you can choose your own pencils to work it out. Now, you can see an awful lot of difference. Okay, now that's that's now when you get to the darker area, such as down here, you you no point in having the two lighter ones because we've got a dark. So, here we would use the next color, which would be a dark gray. Now, this is not in proportion, folks, it's just showing you how. I build up the colour. Now on top of that, we also link this one with this. So we've got an area here, okay? So now we've got to link that area. So we put the... The reason I don't put the light colours down here is because we'd never ever get it dark enough. So we can carry on with this colour now because this is obviously, it needs some more grey. So when it goes on top of the light grey we put in, it registers as slightly darker, but as it hits the, the light, it becomes just that little bit lighter because we've got the white underneath. All right, got it? Okay, and now we need, you can see here, we've got a color in it as well, which is like a rusty tone. I'm going to use this one, which is 187. And if you put the pencil on the paper, you can see that that's very close to the color that we've got here. So we put that on and we put that into on top of the grey. Now it goes on top of the grey and mixes in, but we still want to leave some of the grey there. We don't want to get rid of it. And we can do the same thing down here. Now this isn't going to show up very well because we've got the very dark colour underneath it. And this can follow on to, through the rest you can, you probably can't, appreciate that much but there are some 187 in there too now that's building this is remember these are base colors now we've got to start thinking about putting some strength in so let's start with this section just here just just above the white you've got the dark I've already put just the one color on there which is that one so now I'm going to put in the 181, which is a very dark colour. That can travel up with lighter pressure until you get to there. So here we've got dark, which is here, and here we've got light. Now we can reapply the lighter colours now to a little bit of light, because I'll create this, this effect for you. So now we've got it's travelled in and we've got the dark in here. Now we could put black on there. I, I'm not going to bother here because I think this is dark enough. But you could put a bit of black on if you wanted to. Now we can now retrace our steps again by putting the light grey in to on top of these other colours. And the other thing we can do is we can put a little bit more white there. The way we've got a lighter area, we can now emphasize the light. Now this won't work very well if you wanted to put it down here. You, you, you can do it, but it's, it's better to build it up like I'm showing you here. Now we need a darker color and a richer color. So what I'm gonna use now is this one, which uh, has always proved very successful. It's 283 in favour. It's still not orangey, that's the colour that I'm looking for, but we've got to wait, be patient. 
to get before we can get that. Another area here, I'm bypassing that light area. Now we'll put that in there. Now this can also travel into this color. Okay. Now I'm not worrying too much about design here. All I'm showing you is the color. And that color can stretch down like that. Now we're now getting close to the color that we've got there, but not, not exactly. So let's just work on another color or a couple of colors. I want to make it richer. So here I've got an orange. Now this will this will change the tone quite a lot. You see how that's working? And I don't think we need any more, but what I've got to do is now is make it a little richer. And this is 192 in favor. And that will give me the draw a rusty look. And it's only that, only, only rusty look because I put all those colors underneath it, you see? And we've got that lovely tone in there. And what about here, here? How, how can we increase that? Well, we can by again, putting the colors we've had. This is two double three and we can increase the depth of gray there. Now that's looking pretty good. Still want that light there. So the fact that we put the white underneath it as a base color will always retain its brightness. Okay, now in between here and here, we can probably work on enhancing it a little bit with the gray. And again, you can just see traces of this in here. So once again, I've already put it in once, but now we can add more and we get that lovely color. Now, finally, if you've got it, well, you can you can sharpen this white up, but uh, I'm going to use this one, which is a Creta color. It's a nice sharp color, but if you don't have to use different colors, it makes a pencil. You can get away with what you've got, but then you can just travel this on the top to create. You've got to have a sharp point for this, so the kind of light effects we've got on that. Now, I think that is pretty close. Now, it's very, very rough, very quick, but I think you get the idea. Now, what about down here? We've got a little light in there. would be nice to put in, wouldn't it? Well, you can. Using the white, just slightly, you can put that in too. So now we've got the best of all worlds. Oh, and that's pretty close to the area there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've got many, many more clips to show you. And I'm, I'm sure that you'll um, find that they are very useful when you come to do your own work. I'll see you later. Bye for now.